Hey, welcome to the last episode of Empower Sessions for this season. Today, we are going to talk about connecting with our role models. You will remember from the last two weeks, we talked about connecting with friends and family. Today, we will talk about connecting with people like your teachers, coaches, and mentors. Are you ready to get started? Come on. First, let's talk about who is a role model. A role model is someone who you admire and whose behavior you want to copy. Some role models are also mentors. Some common role models are Sometimes role models are famous and sometimes they are not. They might also be people like your parents, your grandparents, an older sibling, your teacher, a coach, a religious leader, or a neighbor. Role models are great to have because they can help show you a roadmap to different kinds of success. You can copy some parts of their journey, like maybe you want to study the same subject as them in college or some of their traits, like kindness or confidence. You can have lots of role models that can teach you about different parts of your life. Teachers may help you prepare for success in school, while a coach may help you learn important skills like persistence and flexibility. Think about some role models in your life. You may also call them heroes or mentors. Can you write down three role models you have? A few of my role models are my mom, because she always supports me with everything that I do. And Kobe Bryant, because he was such a hard worker. Let's do an activity to connect with our role models. You can pick someone from the list you just created, or think of a different role model. Let's write them a letter about our experiences while social distancing. To help you think of what to write, we put together this outline. Start with an introduction. Tell them how you've been feeling and what you've been doing. Be sure to ask how they are too. Pick one thing that you've been working on. Maybe it's something you learned in Empower Sessions. Maybe it's your remote schoolwork. Or maybe it's a skill like being able to shoot a free throw. Tell them about your progress so far and think of a question to ask them about how you can improve. Finally, make a conclusion. Maybe you will tell them that they are your role model and why. Maybe you will thank them for being your mentor. Or you can tell them about something you want to do together when we can visit each other again. Finish your letter with sincerely and your name. I know Coach Reggie has a few ideas about his perfect role model. Let's call him so he can share his thoughts with us. Hey, Coach Reggie, how's it going? Hey, Coach Eugene, good to hear from you. I am doing excellent. How are you? I'm doing well. I was just thinking about the importance of having a good role model. Can you share a few characteristics that you look for in a role model? Yes, absolutely. Coach, there are definitely characteristics in public figures and leaders that I strive to develop in myself. I think it's important to look at people who have achieved a certain level of success and let that be the guiding light for where I want to go, sort of like a North Star. So, for example, I look to, to President Obama and how well he is able to communicate, lead, and inspire others to take important action. I love how Michael Jordan has a tireless work ethic and the ability to raise the level of his teammates so they can achieve team success. He puts the needs of the team ahead of his own. And lastly, I really respect how athletes like Dwayne Wade and LeBron James use their platform to speak up and out about social justice issues and give voice to those who, don't, who are not always heard. They stand up for what's right and never forget where they came from. I also love how athletes like Dwayne and LeBron use their platforms to speak up about social justice. On the same topic, is there an issue happening right now that you feel strongly about or an issue that you would like to see re resolved? Yeah, definitely. That's a great question. Um, this goes without saying, but I'm definitely passionate about creating opportunities and empowering young people to take their future in their own hand, hands. Young people have so much to share and so much potential to do amazing things in this world, and i like to be able to support that. Oh, that's really great to hear. Uh, once again, Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to share. I know that we're going to catch up soon. All right, I'll see you later. Sounds good. Thanks, Coach Eugene. Take All it right. easy. One of the things we can all be doing while home is improving on our skills. 
It can be really motivating to think of one of your role models and a skill that they do really well and then try to practice that skill. Some examples might include practicing math so you can tell your math teacher about your progress, practicing dribbling so you can show your coach your skills when we go back to practices, practicing listening so you can show your mom or dad how you are being more focused. When you have a role model to help show you the way and keep you accountable, you're even more likely to accomplish your goals. For our next activity, we are going to make some role model cards. These are like baseball cards, but for role models that you aspire to. You can share these with friends or family when they need a boost of encouragement, or you can keep them as reminders of people you look up to. You'll need paper, scissors, coloring utensils, a phone, or a computer, and maybe even some old magazines for this activity. First, you'll research some role models. They can be in your community from a long time ago or living right now. You don't have to know them. We will pick Kobe Bryant as our role model. Find out where they are from, what they are most known for, and maybe a quote or fun fact about them. Then, you will cut your paper into six pieces like the size of a playing card. First, add a picture that will remind you of them. You can draw a picture of their face, draw a symbol that reminds you of them, or cut a picture out of an old magazine. Put that on one corner of your card. Then, write their name. I'm going to add their birth date and where they are from. Then, I will include what they are most known for. Finally, I'm going to add a quote that they said. This is a fun way to learn about new role models and be creative. When you look at your cards, think of a small thing you can do to be like your role models. I know that it can feel lonely to spend so much time at home, but connecting with your role models by researching them writing them a letter, or even by asking an adult to schedule a call with your coach or teacher, we can stay connected to the people that inspire us to grow and learn. Even though social distancing has interrupted our lives, we can still continue to learn, grow, and have fun doing so while at home. That's what Empower Sessions are all about. I know I've learned a lot with you, and I've had so much fun. Remember that these videos are here for you all the time, and there's even more games and activities in our activity guides at urbaninitiatives.org. I am so proud of you for continuing to learn no matter what. You're doing an awesome job. Thank you for being a part of the Empower Sessions team.